Hello. Today, we are going to see how to configure the Firebase setup for the Flutter app. Firstly, open Firebase console and click on New Project. You have to give your project name, and click on the checkbox to agree terms and services. Then hit the Continue button. After that they will ask you to choose or create a Google Analytics account, you have to choose the default account or create a new account for Firebase for here. I will select default account and click on create project. Once your demo project has been created, you have to just click on the continue button. After clicking on continue button you can reach on Firebase homepage. Now, on this homepage adding an app for Android setup. I will select the Android button. After selecting the Android app, and you can redirect to the register your app. Here you can add Firebase to your Android app. For that, you can just fill in the mandatory details for that and just click on the register app. After that, you can download and add the config file from here and just click on the next button. After that here you can see the Firebase SDK file that is Kotlin DSL and Groovy. For here I'll select Kotlin DSL. And click on next and continue to console. After that, you can redirect to the Firebase homepage and here you can select the setting button and in that project settings. Here is the same file that will download from the register page. If you move without downloading a file you can also download the same file from here. For now click on googleservice.json to download the package file. After the package is downloaded, copy that package and then open Android Studio and right click on the app and paste it here. Now, you can see one pop-up has appeared on screen. Click on the OK button and select and copy your package name. After that, click on build.gradle file, and go to the Android, and select the namespace. Now click on the edit button, on top of the left corner and click on find, then click on replace in files. After clicking on it, one pop-up will appear, and place your app name over there. And hit the replace button. Once it replace all then go to the Firebase and click on the Build button on the left sidebar. And then click on Authentication and hit the Get Start button. Here we will redirect to the Sign In method, and select the email slash password of the provider, and just enable both options and just click on the Save button. After that in the left sidebar go into the Build option. And in that Firestore database and then click on the Create Database. And one pop-up will appear. In that, I will select the location from here, I'll select the United States and click on the next button. And in the next, we have two options. First is to start in production mode and second is to start in test mode. Here, I will select the start in test mode. And just click on the create button. After that we will redirect to the cloud Firestore page and in that rules option. There are some rules listed here and in the last line. There is one if condition give the value that is true and click on the publish button. Here you see the publish method will be done, and the message will be shown on the right side corner. After that in the left sidebar go into the authentication and in that sign in method and add a new provider that you need. I will add here Google, phone number and Apple ID authentication. I'll fast forward this process because this is a common process. After adding the authentication process. I will go into the settings and in the project settings. And in the bottom that is add fingerprint for adding SHA1 and SHA256 key. For adding more apps such as iOS, web, or Android. Here is one button, that is add an app, click on it and the pop-up will be shown here. I will click on the iOS option here. Here is the same process as Android so I will fast forward this registration process. Here is one extra option in the iOS register that is to add an initialization code. In that, there are three options, Swift UI, Swift, and Objective-C. I'll select the Swift UI here click the next and continue to console. After that download the SDK file, and simply paste in the Android Studio. Here you see, how easy it is to set up Firebase for Android and iOS.